Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss one important trigonometric inequality, right? So here uh, in this session uh, we are going to uh, prove this important trigonometric inequality that is sin x over x is greater than 2 over pi uh, when x belongs to the interval uh, 0 comma pi by 2. Right. So when x lies between uh, 0 and pi by 2, uh, then the uh, inequality that is sin x over x is greater than 2 by pi, it holds. Right. So let us start. So to prove this inequality, uh, we'll start with the function, uh, say f of x is equal to uh, sin x over x, uh, which is defined. Uh, in this interval that is uh, 0 to pi by 2, right? So now let us differentiate phi, uh, f of x uh, with respect to x. So f prime of x is uh, equal to the derivative of uh, sin x over x. So we can uh, write the derivative as x. The derivative of sin x is cos x. Then we have sin x and then the derivative of x is 1 uh, divided by x square. So here uh, we have used this important result uh, that is uh, if we have two functions u and v of x then the quotient rule for differentiation is v times du over dx minus u times dv over dx uh, divided by uh, v square right so now we have the derivative f prime of x is equal to uh, x cos x minus sin x uh, divided by x square now let us take uh, cos x common in the uh, numerator we have cos x then we have x minus sin x over cos x uh, divided by x square right so now we can write f prime of x as cos x uh, divided by x square and we have x minus uh, tan of x, right? So sin x over cos x is equal to uh, tan of x, right? Now we'll uh, show that this function f of x is a decreasing function in this interval uh, 0 to pi by 2. So now see uh, when x uh, lies in the interval 0 to pi by 2, uh, it means we are in the first quadrant, right? So in the first quadrant, cos x is positive and uh, x square is positive. So this quantity is always positive right but here uh, x is uh, less than uh, tan of x when x belongs to 0 to pi by 2 right so here i uh, will also prove that x is less than tan of x when x belongs to 0 to pi by 2 so let us first prove that x is less than tan x so now let us first draw the graph of tan x so here we have y axis and x axis so this is x axis this is y axis and here uh, we can take the line as uh, uh, x is equal to pi by 2 this is pi by 2 and here uh, we can uh, take this line as x is equal to minus pi by 2 right so now the graph of uh, tan x uh, from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, it looks like this. Uh, this is the graph of uh, tan x, right? And uh, let us draw the graph of uh, y is equal to x. So here uh, we are drawing the graph of y is equal to x and y is equal to tan x, right? So the graph of uh, y is equal to x is a line uh, which passes through uh, origin and uh, the slope of this line is uh, 45 degrees. 
So the graph of this line y is equal to x, it goes like this. Uh, this is our line, uh, y is equal to x and uh, this is our graph, y is equal to uh, 10x. So from the graph, we can see that uh, this line uh, y is equal to x, it always lies uh, below this graph y is equal to 10x, right? So the graph of 10x, it always lie above the uh, line y is equal to x. So it implies that uh, this tan x is always greater than uh, x when x belongs to the interval uh, 0 to pi by 2, right? So if we consider uh, this interval that is 0 to pi by 2, uh, this line y is equal to x, uh, it always lie uh, below the graph of y is equal to tan x. So for each point uh, lying in this interval, uh, the value of tan x is always greater than x, right? So this is how we can uh, prove uh, this inequality uh, that is the tan x is greater than x uh, when x belongs to 0 to pi by 2 uh, graphically. So tan x is greater than x, so it implies that uh, tan x uh, x minus 10x is always less than 0, right? So x minus 10x is always less than 0, it means it is a negative quantity and cos x over x square is uh, always a positive quantity. So the sine of f prime of x is now equal to a positive uh, multiplied by a negative right and this is negative right so the uh, derivative of uh, f of x is always negative in the interval 0 to pi by 2 uh, which suggests that f of x is always uh, a decreasing function uh, in the interval 0 to pi by 2 so viewers, we have established that this function f of x is a decreasing function, right? So let us uh, take two points x1 and x2 uh, which belongs to this interval, right? So let us take x1 is equal to x and x2 is equal to pi by 2, right? And we have uh, x1 uh, less than x2 because x is less than pi by 2. So we have for x1 we have x, for x2 we have pi by 2, right? Now uh, from the definition of uh, uh, increasing and decreasing functions, uh, we know that if we have two points x1 and x2 belonging to the uh, domain of uh, some function say f of x and if x1 is less than x2, then uh, the function is said to be decreasing if f of x1 is greater than f of x2, right? So this is another definition of uh, uh, decreasing function. So f of x1 is greater than f of x2 when x1 is less than x2, right? So x1 is uh, our x and x2 is pi by 2. So we have f of x is greater than f of pi by 2 and f of x is sin x over x and this is greater than f of pi by 2. So uh, f of pi by 2 can be obtained by taking x is equal to pi by 2. So we have sin pi by 2 divided by pi by 2 and this is equal to uh, sin pi by 2 is 1, this is pi by 2. So this is 2 over pi, right? So sin x over x is greater than 2 over pi uh, when x belongs to the interval uh, 0 to pi by 2. So viewers, this is how by uh, making use of the concept of decreasing functions and some trigonometry, uh, we can uh, prove uh, this important trigonometric inequality and always remember that uh, when we have proved this 
uh, inequality sin x over x is greater than 2 by pi uh, we have also proved this important inequality that is x less than 10x when x belongs to the interval 0 to pi by 2 and we have shown it uh, with the help of uh, graph right and we can also prove uh, this inequality uh, by making use of Lagrange uh, mean value theorem.